Hi, I'm Benji. I'm from So Make It, the Southampton Makerspace, and this is the hack that we did on Hacksotten 4 a, a couple of weekends ago. It was uh, Mick and myself who we found this website called wavepot.com, which is a um, online audio synthesizer where you write code in JavaScript and that code produces a waveform which then plays through the speakers, such as this. Which we found quite interesting. The thing is, when you're looking through something like this, and you don't necessarily know very much about it, I know nothing, um, I was having a look through and there's a lot of stuff going on here and I really wanted to, to get to grips to it with it. Um, now fortunately, wavepot.com is actually a live code editor which means we can tweak numbers as we go and it will load up the new numbers and put those into the, the tune. But I found that very ma a very manual process. What I wanted was to be able to twiddle a bunch of knobs and have those play different music. So we knocked up our project which is called Potsy. So this solution is very much a hack day solution. Um, we only had a few hours to produce it. So what we did is we took an Esperino board which I got off of um, Kickstarter and we hooked it up to a number of variable resistors that I've had for a few years just kicking about but I've never used them. Um, and a light dependent resistor and a bunch of dip switches and basically wrote a small sketch on the Esperino that would send um, about 100 times a second would send the values from the variable inputs into the laptop so that as I tweak things it would be able to read them and change what's going on. So for example with this one we can adjust the speed of time. So as I speed time up you'll hear that the pitch increases and obviously everything gets a bit faster. Up to here. Or we can also make it sound like your batteries are running out. Like the old cassette tapes. But this isn't necessarily what you want to do. You sometimes want to change actually the, the speed of the music without changing the pitch. So we've enabled this in one of our one of the tunes, uh, Mindswift. So we can tweak P0, I think. So the pitch is the same, but the music is faster, up to uh, quite a ridiculous speed. And we can also slow it down. But if we settle back to a kind of standard rhythm, when we were looking at the code on wavepot.com, we noticed Mindswift's quite handy because it just multiplies by a number of constants at the bottom, which is right for uh, us to tweak. So what I've done is I've hooked up three of these to my variable resistors and one of them to a light dependent resistor. So if I turn these off, then the synth is going through the light dependent resistor, which should mean, if I put my finger on it, I'm blocking out the light to that quite considerably. As I take my hand off, it comes back. And if I were to shine a torch in it, it may end up going louder still. And I can play with these other numbers, so let's have a listen to the kick. So it's a lot clearer what the kick is now because we can change its volume. And let's bring in the hat. Right, it's clear what the hat is. I'll take that back to how it should be, which is about here. And the bass. Very clear.
And one of the interesting things we added right at the end was the ability to reverse the passage of time, which I should be able to do by flipping this switch. So this is this sketch playing in reverse. And forwards again. The Esperino itself talks, um, is written in JavaScript, um, and so we thought it would be a suitable thing to write in Node.js um, on the on the laptop to interface with the Esperino. Um, so all of this is written in JavaScript, both on the browser front end and the Node server back end, which communicates via WebSockets. And in fact, we've actually made a offline an online version. Uh, which you can use without having to um, connect up to variable resistors. So here's the same tune. And this time you can just use your scroll wheel over the number to increase the bass or to decrease the bass. And similar for all the other numbers. So it's available to you today to use if you want to on somakeit.github.io slash potsy. And of course you can fork it and use it for your own projects. So that was Potsy, our hack for the Hacksodden 4. And thank you very much to the Hacksodden guys for organising yet another brilliant hack day. And if anyone's in the area around Southampton and fancies coming out, coming in and seeing what we do, then check us out. So makeit.org.uk.